it's Stefana with Mis Gustos Resale. Good afternoon, how's everyone doing today? Um, here with some items that I um, got this weekend, either from uh, an auction, uh, and I went to pick them up to, uh, yesterday, and then I also stopped off at uh, an estate sale, and then I also went to um, the Salvation Army. Um, so a combination of those three things is what you see here on this table. Um, so it was a pretty good weekend, I guess. Uh, this stuff here is what I got in an auction. Um, this was one lot. Um, all this stuff here was one lot. I don't know if you can see it. We have just a variety of, I guess you could say men's things. There's a... Uh, a brand new harmonica and the little packaging that's not too old then we have um knives some little pocket knives um i think these are tips for uh fountain pens yeah i don't use fountain pens so i don't know and then we have a couple little other little items here we have this little keychain and it says roma and then when you open it up, let's see, this pop is open. You have this little book with little pictures of Rome. Isn't that sweet? I guess it was a little souvenir picked up while you were in visiting Rome. And then we have this. This is bizarre. Only because I believe it's a little a little picture frame. It's got this little stand. And it's it's old and there's also a picture of some gentleman in here. I don't know how to take it. I'm going to fig try to figure out how to take it out, but isn't this awesome? I mean, it is tiny. I mean, can you can see from my hand. It's tiny. And it's got, like I said, this little stand to stand it up. I love it. And then we have these. All these little army men. Or I don't know what they're doing. They're at war. There's one sitting on the ground. They're plastic. They're not metal. And I don't know how old they are, but look at this one here. Crazy. I think these look like German soldiers. I'm not sure. But that came in the one lot. And then all these little lighters. And then all these little pins. Tiny. Some of these are so tiny. I'm going to have to go through all of them and see what we have. But then there's some pretty old ones in here. Um, tie bar. This one has some matching, some matching cuff links. Look at this little pen. Look, like how tiny can you get? Look at this. Okay, I'm trying to focus here. Hold on. There it is. There's like two of these. But look at how tiny that is. Look at this one. It's a little fish hook, but it's a pin. Small little pin. Then got some baseball and football cards. I know nothing about um, cards. Uh, collecting cards, so I'm not sure. I probably just saw all these in a bunch. And then we have a Jack Daniels uh, flask. It's got all these dates on it. I believe it's Pewter. 
made, it says English pewter, made in Sheffield, England. And then we have this is a razor, it's a handle. And then inside this little box, inside this little box, are the actual razors. They're in there. And then this little this little case, it's so sweet. It's, it's lined with the purple velvet. I think there was a tag here, it must have fallen off. But here in the back, it says pocket edition. And then it has all the dates that, uh, from Switzerland, June 14th, 04, April 30th. Now this is 1904, 1907, 1903, and other countries patented. These are, these are the dates that these, that this item was patented in these countries in the United States I think it's November 15th 1904 and then it says Kim is that Kim or I'm gonna have to see that C Gillette this is this is antique and it works it works. I don't, I don't know who shaves like this anymore, but this is really sweet. And this is just a little uh, leather pouch. And it's got some sort of a stone, maybe a, a, a sharpened knife stone. That's what type of stone it is. And these are little cards that were given out when you bought these Wills cigarettes. And they were like little household hints. Willis cigarettes, adjusting a clistern or cistern. Electric bell. Clothes error. I mean, that's cute. I don't know how old those are. I have to look that up too. And then we have these glasses, or what did they call these? These are a little busted here on the side. And then this one has a case. And it's got the name of the, I guess the people who made the glasses and the doctor maybe. And these are really cute. These are uh, 12 karat gold filled. And they're bifocals. I actually put them on and they're pretty close to my prescription actually really close to my prescription. I could, I could see through them. I was like, wow. And they're cute. They look cute on. That's that. And then we have these items that I picked up at an estate sale. Um, it was actually the last day, so it was like 50% off. And I saw these right away, and I said, oh, I had to pick them up. Um, this sweet little pink Fenton looking opalescent, pink opalescent hobnail. Little, now I have to clean these. These are, I haven't washed these at all, so um, they may look a little dirty. Um, this is a Murano. I set Arte Murano. I set Echo in Venezuela. So I guess it was made in Venezuela. It's a really pretty bird. And it's in, uh, Really good condition, uh, no cracks, no chips, tails intact, everything's intact. Then we have these two little birds. This is a Lee Ward, it's a tiny little one. It's got the signature right there. They call it a blue bird of happiness or something like that. And then this one is like a frosted, a frosted glass. It's sweet. And then this covered dish 
has grape, 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 grapes on it and grape leaves or grapevine. I don't know if it's Jeanette glass or not. I don't think it is. It's not marked at all, but either way, it's a pretty amber color. Almost like, I don't know, it looks almost greenish, yellowish, amberish color. <laughs> And then I have this Fenton little vase, hand painted, and it's a designer sign, signed by the designer. Really sweet. Like I said, I have to, I have to clean this. this is, it's dirty, but it's really pretty. And this, I love hands. So whenever I see a hand type of vase, or this one I'm gonna keep for myself, it needs a cleaning, but I thought it was really pretty. Um, it's got a little chip on the bottom there, USA Pottery. Um, I just thought it's pretty. I love hand stuff. Hand jewelry, hand vases, hand um, knickknacks. And then I found this. I believe this is what they call cruel. And I call it um, hand stitched or what else is I forgot the name of it, but I thought this was so pretty. And it's in this solid wood frame. I have some of these uh, curls or embroidery, is that, what, is that what it is, embroidery? I have some more um, actually put away. I, I wanna put them up on my walls. I just haven't had the chance to. So this will probably go with my little collection of embroidered art. <laughs> That's what it is, embroidered art to me. And I just think it's so pretty. And then, let's go to the jewelry that I found. Oh, I forgot to show you these. This also came with the men's lot. These, uh, these are uh, cuff links. And these little things. This is like a set. I think there's one of these is missing. Belonged right here, I think. But that's sweet. That's a bold comes in this little box, kind of very Art Deco. And then we have, this also came in that lot. This is salt and pepper shakers. Look at this, isn't she adorable? I love kitschy stuff like this. This stuff, I mean, come on, look at this, hand painted. It says hand painted. Betsy. B E T S. I think. Oh, Bet. No. Betsons. Betsons. I think that's what it says. Hand painted. She's intact. No chips. No breaks. Nothing. Her red hair, her red eyebrows and red lips, and of course the salt and pepper shaker. Isn't that sweet? And then this also came with this lot here. This is a liquor stopper for your liquor bottle. And then you've got this little lever back here, and he tips his hat and bows his head. And how convenient where this poor is placed, huh? Hello. I thought this was adorable. So those are sweet. That came with this lot here. Uh, and then I uh, purchased these little items at the estate sale. And they're just little what was left. There was not much left jewelry, but these were thrown in there. But I noticed that they were, uh, I looked at them and I thought they were for sure sterling silver, silver, sterling silver, and they are. Um, they just have to be cleaned up. Let's see. It doesn't say there. It says in here, sterling. And then it has this, I think that's a garnet. It's really hard to tell, but I believe that's a redstone. And I did test it. 
and it went towards garnet. That's sweet. And then I have these other ones that also were sterling. And these are little, uh, what is that? Either a lily, no, not a lily, orchid. This little green stone inside of it. And this also is sterling. There it is. The screw backs. These are old. These two pairs are old. And then I've got, I thought this was sweet, this pendant. Um, I want to say it's lapis. And I believe it's 925. Sterling, this little thing up here. And some enamel work it's really cute elephant and then this shell this is old it's a sweet pendant and this one just a little old piece of rose quartz and then this one it was sweet pumpkin jack-o-lantern and then I have this little witch she's cute she's also a pendant for Halloween these little glass earrings and then this pendant this actually you unscrew it and then this border opens up and they put this it's United States of America. It's a coin from 1899. It's one cent. So I thought that was sweet. And then I bought this at the estate sale. Chalkware, pretty young lady here. This beautiful teal dress on. She's a little cracked in the back, but let me tell you, if you've seen some of these, they're in pretty bad shape. She's still intact. And her, her dress is still really pretty. She's still in really good condition. I'll steam this down so it stays down, but I thought she's adorable. Look at those pretty blue eyes and red lips holding her flowers. And then the jewelry, this jewelry, I, this one here, I got in the lot, one of the other lots that I got from the auction. The clasp is 14 karat gold. These are rock crystal or, they actually measured quartz, so quartz, crystal quartz, I believe this is when I tested them. They're gorgeous. They're heavy. It's not very, it's not a very long, it's more like a choker, but it's beautiful. And then this one I also, no, this was at the estate sale. Yes, this one I got at the estate sale. And this is just glass. Very pretty. Also, not a long one. And then these, I bought these a couple weeks ago. It's whenever I see any of this glass or quartz or rock crystal, I'm just like drawn to it. It's so pretty. This one here is a three strand. It's got an older clasp. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? The prisms in there is just gorgeous. And then this one here is longer. And this one also gorgeous with all the facets on there. And I believe this is strung together on a piece of chain. On a chain. And it's also got an older clasp. These are heavy. They're heavy because they're crystal. 
This actually looks really cute together, I think. Two pieces there. And then these are the earrings I got with that on the auction. These are also crystal quartz. There, they dangle. They are screw backs. They are sterling silver. And they're just beautiful. Let's see if I can. Look at the prisms on that. Gorgeous. And then, then just these little uh, things that I found. I love these Aurora Borealis coated glass beads, memory wire, wrap around bracelet, sweet. And then this set here, it's not marked, just costume. I don't think it's that old either. Um, it's got the safety chain, the hidden clasp, emerald green and clear rhinestones with the matching earrings clip on in great condition. I don't even know if it was used. It's so pretty. And then this set here is the necklace. Beautiful bracelet. And the matching earrings. This one is also unsigned, so But beautiful pieces, beautiful pieces. Yeah, so that was some of the things that I bought this weekend, either, like I said, through an auction, uh, an estate sale I stopped off at, and uh, a Goodwill, oh, not Goodwill, I keep forgetting the name of it. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, so if you see anything that you like, uh, send me an email at uh, Mis Gustos Resale at gmail.com and let me know and uh, if there's anything that you like if not this stuff will be put on my Etsy some sometime hopefully soon um, but yeah just thought I'd show you some of my goodies that I found all right guys we'll see you soon bye